What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to another video. And yes, they don't want to see us winning. Well, anyway, you know what I'm here to talk about today. All about the M's. Go blue. And I'm here to talk about this Florida and Michigan game that's matching up. Oh my gosh, it's finally here. Football season is finally here. The last preseason game for every NFL team is tomorrow. Well, this weekend. And then the Michigan game is kicking off this Saturday at 2, 3.30 p.m. on ABC. The Arlington, Texas Classic Bowl. Let's do this. If y'all don't know what that is, the Arlington, Texas Classic kickoff is basically like they pair two teams up that they feel will be a good matchup. So that's the same thing they did. We had one of these when Denard Robinson was in there. So this is like 2012 when they matched us up with Alabama. And, of course, we got our ass whooped because we wasn't prepared for them. But it's like they match up any team that they that had a good season and test them against each other. That's what it's called, the Arlington, Texas, you know, classic kickoff. Um... Alabama been in it a couple times. They was in it last year again with USC. You know, it's just teams that they feel like will be a great matchup. Sometimes they're going to go as planned. Sometimes the teams get blown out. Sometimes it'll be a really good matchup. But, yes, we have it. Now, I'm going to show you my predictions. I'm going to show you what I think about it. And then I'm going I'm to leave it down to y'all in the comment section to tell me what the y'all think is going to happen. What do y'all think? Do y'all think this is going to be our year, Michigan year? Or do y'all think it's just, oh, we too young, you know? This is my input on it. Last year, last year, um, Jim Harbaugh led us to a 10-3 and three season again. But, you know, we fell short the last two games. We won we only won one out of three games. You know, the last four games, but you know, it was good. We started out nine and oh at number two behind Alabama. We was the number one best defense ranked in the country in seven categories. We were we were on our way to go to the college football playoff, but Iowa messed us up, you know, that kick. We still could have made it. But the Ohio State messed us up double overtime. You know, that really messed us up. And, you know, people don't believe in us this year because we have a younger team. You know, we lost 10 out of 11 starters to the NFL draft. We lost four on offense to the NFL draft. So it's just like nobody has hope in us. Nobody. And what I have to say about that is that that don't matter. I hate to bring this into example, but Ohio State was a young team last year as well. And they made it to the college football playoff, which they shouldn't have. But, you know, they made it. And they proved everybody wrong because everybody was saying that they was not going to make it to the college football playoff, let alone contend, because they was a young team. And what I have to say about that is that that young, that young youth and experience does not matter. If you can play football and you have a great coach, that doesn't matter, bro. That does not matter. I don't care what people say when they say, oh, it's a young team. You know, it's a lot of... You playing against a lot of older teams. Okay, what does that mean? If you have a great defensive scheme, a great offensive scheme, and a great coach, it does not it does not matter. I just seen lots of young teams make it and win it all. You know? All that does not matter. It doesn't. So with people saying that it's young, we young, you're not gonna make it. It's just all bluff. Because how do you know how good somebody is? You feel what I'm saying? How do you know how good somebody is if you never seen them play? 
Like, most of what we got is three, four star, five star recruits. It's not no two star recruits. We got three to five star recruits. So they know how to play the bat. They know how to play the game. We just gonna wait and see. Now my prediction has always been the same. We're gonna I feel that Michigan is gonna pull out this W. I feel it. Because we haven't been doing no trash talk like Florida. You know, Florida been doing a lot of trash talking to us. We only we only commented like once. And that was when Chase Winovich, number 15, RDN, because they said if it'll beat the brakes off of us, then he said we don't use brakes. We, 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 we only use the gas, which means that we don't put the brakes on nobody. We accelerate. We try to score. We try to put up as many points as we can. And they coach been talking a lot of stuff. They coach been saying that we're irrelevant. We're trying to be relevant again because of all this hype that's going around. Feel like they're gonna we gonna beat the they gonna beat the heck about heck out of us. And it's like which coach says that? I get that you're confident in your players, which a coach should be. But beat the brakes off of us, beat the heck out of us. You have no respect for us. And then talking about, oh, we're not even ready about Michigan. We haven't even done no film on them. We haven't even practiced for them yet. He said that this week. You haven't practiced? You haven't practiced for us yet? So you just that confident you're going to win. How dare you say that you haven't practiced for us yet? What? You haven't practiced? So... How do you know where you're getting into if you haven't looked up no film or practice on us? How do you know what you're getting into? You just you just figure, oh, they let they they lost 16 players in the NFL draft, so they're not the same Michigan. We're good. That's basically what he's saying. Y'all lost 16 players that made up your championship squad, and y'all are not nothing no more. Y'all have young players, lots of freshmen and sophomores. Y'all are trash. That's basically what he's saying. Like I said, I feel that now it's going to be a blowout because if y'all don't know, Florida has lost 10 players. They lost their star receiver, you know, their star, you know, offensive lineman, their star linebacker, most of their stars on defense. And now they lost a star running back. The person that said, Hey, they're, they're a good defensive line, but we going to beat them outside the edge. So you basically just gave up your whole game plan. You basically said you're going to run the edge the whole time. We're going to get ready for that then. But since you're not playing no more, what really chance do y'all have? Y'all might have had a chance because y'all had y'all star receiver and y'all star running back. And y'all had a, a older squad in us. But it turns to find out that all... That your players are not really loyal to y'all because we found out that one of the players, we don't know who it is, but one of the players have ratted on their teammates, snitched. So that's why 10 players are suspended, you know. And, you know, it's whatever. He tried to do the right, but at the same time, people are going to get mad at you because why would you tell them that they... They did this for charge for credit card fraud. Now they can't play and y'all might lose. And they're going to be on your head. So I predict a blowout. If not a blowout, a good game. Because they lost 10 players. And we lost only one to a transfer. And one to an injury. And that's it. We only lost two players. One transfer. And one is out for the season. He, he gave He given up on football. So... What do y'all think? I think this is going to be a good season once again. I believe that these young people have a lot to learn as the season goes on. And they will get better. They won't be the 2013 that we had a good team, but Brady Hoke didn't know how to coach. No, we have a young team that has a lot of questions to answer. And they will step up to the plate. Because they hear the social media. They have phones too. They on social media. They on ESPN. They hear what people saying about them. They watching YouTube. Oh, they're unexperienced. They're not going to be good as last year. 
They're going to lose to both of their rivals. They even got us losing to Penn State by 14 points. And Penn State only won the championship, the Big Ten championship, because we lost to Ohio State. So it wasn't even like they won fair and square. You know what I mean? But it's whatever. You know, I just can't wait to this Saturday. I just can't wait to this season to prove every so they can prove everybody wrong. I can't wait. It's a lot of talk. You don't believe in us, but you believe in Ohio State. You don't believe in us, but you believe in Penn State. You don't believe in us, but you believe Michigan State can beat us, and they coming off a three and nine season. And it's just a lot of BS. You know what I mean? Hey, it's whatever. They gonna prove it. I can't wait. They gonna step up to the plate. They are going to step up to the plate because they know they have a lot on their shoulders. They're going to step up to the plate just like they did last year. People didn't believe we can make it this year. So, yeah, just watch. Just wait, just wait, just wait. Final score is 35-21. My final score, Flor Michigan. And we got the All Maze. You and you so ooh, yeah. We're not playing no games. Since you wanna lie, since y'all wanna talk trash, since y'all wanna say all this, we're we're gonna show y'all. But anyway, if y'all like sports, this is my first NCAA football college football video. If y'all want more videos. Subscribe. If y'all want more NFL videos, subscribe. Y'all want more N NBA videos, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. I'm gonna be here all day, all week, every week, every hour, every minute. I promise y'all this gonna be lit, bro. We didn't lost this. We didn't lost a subscriber. I guess I waited too long, but it's okay. We lose one, we gain many. Let's do this. Let's get to a hundred subscribers, and let's get to a thousand. Then let's get to. 10,000, then 50,000, then 100K. Let's do this, y'all. We can do this. Peace.